No. Oh. <laughs> it's all oh, in his beard. There goes, there goes some spit. Oh. Now, if you get, don't just let it drop out of your mouth, Menace. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? Oh. We got a, uh, a taste drive coming up. Nice. This hour, this uh, where we have some things that maybe we have uh, mentioned on the show. I know for a fact there's at least two things this morning that we've mentioned on the show previously that uh, get the taste and see if it's uh, if it's worth it. And then we also got some food news. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Woody Show <laughs> food news. Ooh, oh, yeah. food news. Starting with uh, Hormel, who are adding the Korean barbecue flavored spam as a permanent flavor. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Go? Try yeah. It. Yeah. There, I mean, there's so many different flavors of spam. It's uh, described as a unique blend of soy sauce, garlic, ginger, paprika, and sesame with a hint of spice. Okay. Mm. According to Hormel, the new flavor is inspired by spam's popularity in Korean culture and the rise of Korean barbecue in the U.S. And they recommend eating the new spam variety grilled and served over rice I or agree. on a toasted bun with kimchi slaw. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fancy. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's available now exclusively at Walmart, both in store and online. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, food news. Ooh, Ooh. The food news. The grilling spam is you got to. It, I don't remember it, yeah. the last time I had it, but I'm definitely not a spam hater. Well, you weren't in studio then when we had the maple bacon spam. Uh, I, oh, well, a I year was, ago, yeah. Or whatever yeah. It was. I don't know how people do it. I don't raw. know if I tried it. Oh yeah, raw yeah. spam, yeah. but no, yeah. cooked spam, delish. You know what I liked as a kid? I used to like um, raw hot dogs. Even though they're not raw, Ooh. they're already oh. cooked. Ugh. They are cooked. I mean, yeah. all hot dogs is when you buy them from the store, they're already cooked. I'll still eat those. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like bologna. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it I is. Used to we'll love, sneak. I used to love cold hot dogs, That's like just right out of the package. Yeah, I haven't done that in you know, I don't know. Let's call it four decades. If you want right. to cold it up, a cold <laughs> hot dog with cold slice of American cheese. Oh. It's good. That's all a right. good drunk what? high <laughs> slash. What yeah. you, oh, menace of all people. Yeah, I like mine warm. I mean, like, yeah, that's preferred, obviously. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, if you're wasted. I did see this at the grocery store. I know it's a real thing. I know it's already out there. Kellogg's and Crumble, like Crumble Cookies, they've teamed up with a new breakfast cereal. Oh, God. <laughs> the flavor of Crumble's chocolate chip cookie, which is my least favorite commercially uh-huh. available chocolate chip cookie. Other than being big and soft, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. I don't like the fact they don't use semi-sweet chocolate chips. Oh. The most overrated cookie of life. I do like their other cookies. Their other cookies are good. I but like they, the chocolate mint. But you know, I'm a sucker for a fresh out of the oven, soft mm. chocolate chip cookie. And I just don't think Crumble does a very good job of that. Their other cookies are great. I do like those. But this is Crumble chocolatey chip cereal. And uh, they say for people who have tried the new cereal, it's a fresh baked aroma compared to cookie crisp. And uh, it's available now at retailers nationwide. I saw it in the regular the regular grocery right. store. Cookie Crisp was the dream oh, cereal as a kid. Yeah, and then I remember being disappointed with how little the cookies were. Oh, really? Yeah, because they were like super small. Yeah, they're like small. smaller than a penny. I think I was expecting so, them to be like yeah. quarter size. You know, <laughs> like um, <laughs> like a famous Amos. Yeah, right. You know, those little cookies like you get out of a vending machine. The commercials oh, were heaven. deceiving, mm-hmm. yeah. even though it was just a cartoon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so good. Ooh, food news. Uh, pretzel Maker, the creator of Soft Pretzel Bites, they've teamed up with Cheetos to introduce a new limited edition flavor, Ooh. Cheetos Pretzel Bites. Okay. Yes. Now we're talking. Yeah. The, uh, oh, the new bites yeah. are fresh baked, hand rolled daily, and each bite is dusted with the iconic Cheetos flavor. Mm. Not just the Cheetos flavor. The iconic Cheetos flavor. Yeah, and they're mm. available until September 29th nationwide. Okay. Yum. Yeah, rip. I'd probably be in the freezer section, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. So McDonald's, you know, they rolled out that $5 value meal. They did this back uh, last month. And because the, the complaints were coming in about the high prices, right, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So they, they rolled out this $5 value meal. And now it's wildly popular. And they're taking it away. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was like yeah. two days. Well, <laughs> right. I'm sure it's taken away from the other meals. Right. Um, People are just buying the five dollar meal versus the more expensive one. According to the article, McDonald's had its busiest Tuesday of the year thus far on June 25th. That's the day that it uh, it launched. And the only problem is it's unclear how long the deal will be on the menus because uh, McDonald's says it was only going to be available for a month. Oh, oh but they just didn't, one they month? Didn't, they didn't tell anybody that. I didn't know that. Because if you remember, they were getting crushed because everybody's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's so expensive. Right. Man, it's been saying. Right, right, right. Uh, some food news. Ooh, food news. Let's go to one of our favorite places, Trader Joe's. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Trader Joe's fan favorite celebration cake gelato is returning to stores. Mm. 
cake batter flavored gelato with cake pieces and rainbow sprinkles. And uh, uh, that's not that's going to that. Yeah, that's going to be out there. I mean, I don't I don't think I've had that. I, I definitely have not. If I get I ice cream at Trader Joe's, it's only the coffee blast. Oh, it's oh no. I get oh, the I'm, one that oh. has the two chocolate chip cookies with the vanilla ice cream in between. Yeah. The chip is it chip witch? Yeah, I think or so. Not chip that. witch. That's yeah. nothing yeah. at Trader Joe's brand name. Oh. But the the same concept. Yeah. Sublime, right? Was that what it was? I don't know. I, don't know. I get the I get the cookie butter ice cream. Ooh. Oh, I was on a big cookie butter kick for a oh, while. Oh yeah. My favorite so is getting the cookie butter and you did pretzels in it. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah, like little mini pretzels. Oh, that oh yeah. Butter. That's good. <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> yeah. Some other uh, returning desserts include the hiracha ice cream. You got the chocolate and vanilla bean swirl gelato. Yes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Fudgy cookie dough ice cream. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ube mochi. Yeah, sure. Why not? Is that how you say Ube. it? Is that the yeah. purple one? Yeah, U-B-E? yeah. there's, a, you Ube. there's Ube. a bunch of that flavor at Trader Joe's right now. Yeah, Different cookies so and other things. It's oh. wildly popular because it's bright purple, and but it does it, taste good. Ube is like a sweet potato, right? It's yeah, yeah, it's from the Philippines. Oh, Thank dude. You. Hot damn. Check it out. The mini carrot cake sheet cake. Oh, yeah. What? Rip. Oh, what? Nice. Cake made with carrots, <laughs> warm spices, walnuts topped with the cream cheese icing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only 310 <laughs> calories per serving. I mean, why are you sure. reading that? Who cares? How do they, cares? How do they get that to you? <laughs> but uh, Sammy was right on those ice cream sandwiches. They you haven't seen those little mini sublime. sheet cakes they sell? Uh, I don't spend a lot of time with the dessert. I'm, yeah, it's uh, it's in mm. the it's by the where the Kringles are. Yeah, you know Kinda where, where the, the Kringles bread are. And stuff is. Yeah, yeah. It's in the mm. bread section, but they also have like the bread little mini thing. cookies and stuff over there, and usually yeah. toward one of the more bottom shelves, and it's a. I, I got a I got a, a lemon sheet cake one time. That I got was that one too. So good. Oh, yeah. So good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this carrot sheet cake is like a single serve. You can just you know eat it oh, right yeah. out of the thing. <laughs> okay, it pops no, right it's out. Not, of... It's not single serve. No, no but it's not. I'm saying for us it is. Oh, for yeah, us it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's 18 yeah. ounces, aka single, single, serve. single <laughs> serving. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I want it. All right. Well, we got the uh, the Woody Show taste drive. Oh yeah. One other thing you want to tell uh, Menace what's coming up. You want to give him like a, a heads up? Yeah, it's something, it's something, a, a flavor of ramen that we discussed okay. recently and oh. and something from the creators of South Park. What? Oh, and I got something else after you have all that. What? And after all that. And, and, yeah. so, and so for dessert, uh-huh. I've got something. And I've got Ooh. something else for dessert. What? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. All right, Seabass, what's, uh, what's the first thing that Menace is going to try here? Well, that we're all trying here yeah. for the... What do you show taste drive? By the way, somebody, uh, while you're handing this out, yeah. that last uh, food news segment started to get uncomfortable to listen to only because I think we now all know what Meta sounds like when he's trying to have sex. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah hot. This one says, if any of you have not tried the pecan pralines from Trader Joe's, I highly recommend trying them. So good. My Pralines. favorite thing from there. Uh, I just had some of the Celebration ice cream last night. We were just talking about that at Trader Joe's. It's easily three times better than the cookie butter ice cream. It tastes like Susie Cake's Celebration Cake. Ooh. 10 out of 10. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Somebody said the crumble cookie cereal sucks. They tried it. Oh, right. another uh, crumble note. Every other week, I guess, crumble does now offer semi-sweet chocolate chip cookies. Because okay. I guess they said enough people complained about how bad the milk chocolate ones were. Now they could just complain about the rest, right, Greg? I know. <laughs> yeah. Crumble is just garbage. Um, yeah. So let's see. Orange creamsicle cheesecake is coming soon to Costco. Ooh. Speaking of food news. And I'm sorry, oh. I, I forget what how I said it, but it's it's horchata. Right, I horchata. said whatever that was Horrere, wrong. My, 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 my apologies, my apologies. <laughs> well, we're going to start with a, a recent food news item that we were talking oh, about yeah. oh, from Cup Noodles. Menace already knows it because he probably can smell it. It is the mm. Ramen Cup Noodles Campfire S'mores Edition. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I like Pass that. There, All right. Sammy. All right. Well, Sounds I think you got to try it first because you're the one who went to the factory or the museum or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in, man, you got to go to the museum in, in Yo- <laughs> No, Yokohama, Japan. Shout out to Japan. Yeah, that's um, true. I told you I was not excited for this because I don't like my ramen sweet. So smell it first. It smells I like... I didn't know they had sweet oh, ramen. It smells like candy bar. Oh. candy bar. It's got that terrible like artificial chocolate flavor. Oh, yeah. yeah. It smells like maybe... Oh, wait. Let me just try it. It comes with so it's uh, ramen noodles, like a chocolate powder, and then little mini, cho- you know, the dehydrated marshmallows, the okay. tiny ones, which looks like baby corn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this is really not uh. absolutely terrible. Yeah, because I'm, I'm I'm picturing like uh, before I go into this, I'm, uh-huh. I'm picturing like a like a hot chocolate 
And then the, the yeah. noodles, which could, you know. It kind of just... tastes like a hot chocolate poured on top of uh, ramen noodles. Yeah, it but just... without the chicken flavor, obviously. Kind of, kind of what it yeah. is. Yeah. Mm. My question uh, is just why? No, why? Yeah, uh -oh. why? This is bad instant hot chocolate, bad instant cocoa. Mm, it's terrible. On noodles. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's really? not good. Like, it's yeah. not vomitous, but oh. it's, it's just oh. why? It makes you crave a regular cup noodles. Oh, that's yeah. gross. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I do love the texture of uh, ramen. Oh. Like the, yeah. the, the like this stuff, like cup noodle. It's uh -huh. oh, that is not bad. Horrendous. This is disgusting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want to like spit it out. Not the worst thing I've ever had. Yeah. I can't imagine a kid would even want this. Uh, Who would want to be this? all about this? You I think? think so for sure. But like, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh. the artificial chocolate is the worst part about it. Ugh. Just get a get a Hershey bar. It's yeah, very I give it like a, a six out of ten. I give it a three. <laughs> One. Three? One. Yeah. One. It, yeah. Mm. yeah, again, only because it's not as bad as I anticipated. <laughs> I expected right. more fudgy, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to puke, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, threw, if you threw uh -huh. uh, some yeah. melted chocolate yeah. on this. Over dramatic about it, but yeah. Uh, what else you got here, Seabass? So, Casa Bonita. Yes. From South Park. Right. I'm trying to get a resi. What's up? So, <laughs> <laughs> Madison needs a reservation. So, Casa Bonita, <laughs> there Parker, was the famous Stone. episode of yeah. South Park where, you know, they had the cliff divers and then the, the restaurant uh -huh. closed down and the South Park creators bought it back and spent millions of dollars renovating it. It recently reopened. And yes, Madison, I'm on their mailing list. That's how you get a resi. Yep. A reservation. So, I clicked through it and I'm like, well, I'm not going to be in the Denver area anytime soon. So, I just clicked through, looked around on their website uh -huh. and they have a shop online where you can order their items, Ooh, including... Sweet. Something that I was like, they have like a, they have a Bloody Mary mix, a Bloody Ooh. Maria mix. Ooh, love it! It's right. so like green Bloody Mary, and they had something on there. They have a a mole sauce. Ooh, okay. Jeez, you can pass that around there, Greg. It's to your left in that uh, bin. Oh, okay. And most moles, they are very rich because it's a thousand things. It's tomatoes, tomatillos, chilies, chocolate. Mm. You know, a thousand different spices. They do theirs a little differently. Their main ingredient is plantains. Okay. Then okay. chocolate. Then all the other stuff, you know, mm. sunflower, mm. Uh, pumpkin seeds, vanilla. It yeah, mole's, looks like diarrhea. It does. It looks like, well, all mole sauce looks like straight yeah, diarrhea. Yeah, it does. Mo mole's really not my favorite. But try this one out. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. It's not bad. Not it's bad. tasty. I find it to be delightful. <laughs> yeah. It's got oh. real heat to it. Mm hmm which Yeah. Is why, which yep. is why Sammy can't stand it. Yuck. Yeah. What do you mean, yuck? <laughs> What's wrong with good. it? All right, I know, Sammy's out of way, food again, segments. Again, what way? Again, what way? That's good. Bad. Yeah. You say it's got yuck, a little kick. Not good, but like, what is not good about it? This is what Seabass is always trying to get you to elaborate on. I don't like the texture of it. Really? Like it's kind of. I don't grainy. like the the spice of it. Too hot. Too for her. hot. It's not that it's too hot. It just is not. So I think the All spice right. is great. Let's not forget, you, Sammy's very basic. Yeah, yeah, you've already given your feedback. All right, next. I think the spice right. is really good. Now, I, Greg, I do like, like the spice yeah. level. The heat level, I think, is is it's is good. not bad. Like it's like not it. overdone. It doesn't taste. Quite mole like? Correct. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. They they do it, it's not chocolatey enough. They do it differently. It's plantains. Yeah, way different. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's good, though. I would have it. I would have that. What would you put sure. this on? Like, Literally, how do you eat this? Chicken. Yeah, yeah. mole anything. can go on anything vegetables, yeah. chicken, beef. Mm -hmm. you could put, that's, that's why good. it's so versatile. Yep. You know, I have oh, the, yeah. the worst memory on planet Earth, and I don't remember what happened yesterday, but one of my very first memories of life, I was three when we went to Casa Bonita. And I remembered it for the rest of my life. What was that restaurant where yeah. people dove off the cliffs? And then I went back as an adult because I loved it. And I remembered it from being three. <laughs> yeah, I signed up. Park, I, I can't remember like what we did earlier in the show. Uh -huh. I can't. How long did you sign up for? Because I signed up like three months ago and I still haven't got anything. Oh, I didn't sign up for a reservation, but they offered oh. it to me. So what, you're going to fly to Denver, well, to I'm Colorado? Gonna be, I'm going to be in Denver. Depends on when you get the reservation. I know. Well, I'm going to be in Denver anyways. I was hoping I could try but and make the, it a line. And Menace, let's not forget, Menace is a wannabe social media influencer. Yes, and I would love you, to you, go for the gram. If you got video <laughs> inside oh, with the cliff true. divers and that stuff. That'd be huge. So hey, uh, founders of South Park, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, we approve of your remote well, Greg and I do. I like I do. it. I, I, I like do it. too. And Woody, like please it. come on our show. How yeah. much does that set you back, a jar of that? Uh, I think it's like nine bucks, and then shipping's okay. a trillion dollars. It was oh, good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. I mean, I, yeah, if you're, if, you're a, if you're a cultured person who enjoys fine Mexican yep. dining. Mm. All right. Uh, give me uh, one more thing here, Seabass. What do you got? Woody Show Taste Drive. Oh, goodness gracious. Hey, uh, Greg, yeah. while you're over there, see those nuggets there? Yes. Yeah. Yes, nuggets. Now, Menace, these are not just nuggets. What? These are well. I'll tell you what. Don't I'll, tell me there's like no, some. It's not vegan. Crap. It's not. All right. Uh, it's got vegetables in it. Yeah, it's some tofu crap. Hold All on, right. I gotta pull up my order because I, I, <laughs> this is this is proof that advertise. As Greg has said, advertising works. <laughs> okay. Yeah. These popped up as like just a Facebook pre-roll ad. These nuggets. 
Got some kind of chicken oh, or cheese or nuts. Well, cheese influencer nuts? Or no, carrot. I mean, well, why are you tearing it open? Just try Because I'm looking at it. Seeing what it is. Mmm. 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 Mm. That is a stuffed chicken nugget. Stuffed? Yes. One oh, of them Lord. has jalapeno and cheese. Mm. The other has chicken pot pie. <laughs> oh my god, this is I, so good. I, oh, dip it in the mole. Oh, I, I've also got some uh, oh, mole. some ranch and some honey mustard if you want. Oh, it. I took yeah. a bite. I took a bite without the mole. Mm. Good. Uh-huh. Dipped That's it. Good. I have the, the the pot pie one. Dipped it mm. in the mole. Even better. Wait, so mm. is this that, Rip. that stuff that I see online by social influencers called nugs, or is this no? Uh, Let's see, I'm pulling this back up. I mm. literally forgot the brand. It's okay. <laughs> It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. But if you, you want, out if you want it, to but... sneak veggies into your diet, you yeah, have to like chicken. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't be making them in the microwave. This is definitely something that needs to go in the air fryer yeah. or the oven. Yeah, I got a uh, jalapeno one. Yeah. yeah. What's the spice level on it? Mm. Oh, I mean, zero. Mid. Yeah. Almost okay. nothing. Yeah. Did you now? Did you dip it in the uh, the mole? Mm. No, Try no, that no, out. No. Oh yeah. I recommend it highly. Oh uh, yeah. Did yeah, you do that, Craig? Did you dip it in the mole? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That made it. That made it better. That's what I'm saying. I. I mean. I don't know. It's not bad, but I wouldn't get excited. I think about the idea these. is like you want to sneak, you want to sneak veggies, you know, carrots, peas, and stuff into your kids. Wait, right. you just snuck veggies in me? One of them's got. I told you, chicken pot pie. <laughs> yeah, oh, little yeah. carrots and stuff in there. Oh no, now I. Yeah, yeah gross. Oh, you know, I'm allergic. <laughs> no, that's really good. I like it. Yeah, then of course bad. you always have a sauce with a nug. Naturally. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I'll give those. Uh, I'll give those like a six. Oh, cool. I'm going seven. I go five. Yeah, yeah, five. yeah, I mean, for what those are, like they're, I think uh-huh. they're slightly above average of what you would get, like in a frozen nugget yeah. uh, at, the, at, the, at the grocery juicy. store. Yeah, yeah, they're they're good size. Yeah, because there's a little something extra to it. It's not just a plain nugget. A little juice. Right. Oh, yeah. Now, when you add the the mole mm. sauce to it that we're dipping it in, then, then uh, that level. that brings it more to like a seven. Oh yeah, yeah, really agreed. Good. I like these nuggets, and I think yeah. these are new. The brand. You sent me a link. Good God, I want. It. How hard is this? You stupid. <laughs> All right, so we got we got the uh, the s'mores cup noodle terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's oh. a never negative five. That's a jeer. Yeah, right. That's yeah. right. Hundred percent. And then the mole sauce. I think overall cheer. Hell yeah, cheer. that's everybody good. seemed to like it's that. Rich right. And homemade. Yeah, that and was different. The, the South Park was it? Blessed Casa uh, Casa Bonita. Casa you can Bonita. order their stuff online. Yeah, and then uh, and then this uh, this stuffed chicken nugget, which he's trying to. Find the name how, of the of the brand. Didn't, wasn't it order. in a box? What's the box right there? Oh, that's a different. That's a different thing. That's uh, oh, that's a different thing. That's right. for Menace also if he wants it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's more to taste. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll do that because I have something for Menace. Oh too. yes. All right. So, uh, what do you have for Menace? One last thing, real quick, and then I got something. Menace Give it to me. Loves him some blueberry muffins. So let's have you some of that Menace. Are those blueberry muffins? Yeah. They look exactly they, like those green things you had. Oh, they the do. frittatas. Oh, okay. They no, look no, no, really know. healthy. Like uh, they're brownish. They're not like white. Yeah. Did you get mm. the brand of the uh, the stuffed oh. chicken nuggets? Okay. Just a second. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Not bad. And menace. Guess what? Surprise! Haha! Those oh. are vegetables. <laughs> they were. <laughs> that is the same brand. Veggies made great. That makes the frittatas that are uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, new yeah. favorite. Also, they do make something good. They got blueberries. They got cucumbers in there. Menace carrots. Oh, okay. I can't oats. taste any of those. All right. And, uh, blueberry. Yeah, these are new. These stuffed nuggets. They are called uh, chicken pot pie loaded nuggets and cheesy jalapeno loaded nuggets. They are from a uh, brand Pilgrims. They okay. also have a buttery mini nugget and a Ooh. zesty ranch mini nugget. Uh, oh. oh, these blueberry joints have had a little bit of butter up on them. Up on that. that? Okay. Got some mole on it. Mm. Now, menace. Mm. Yeah. Something I haven't seen for a long time out there, but okay. it still exists. Look, Big League Chew. <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> nice. Oh they still make Big League Chew. Now, this is in the pouches like the uh, the chewing tobacco would yeah. come in, except the shredded bubble gum. And I know in a lot uh, of places yeah. they stopped selling it because. They were saying that it was yeah. like encouraging kids to chew tobacco. Oh, yeah. about the children? Oh, which, the before I give this to you, guess what I found? What? Actual chewing tobacco. Uh, Lucky. Oh. Remember when we did that whole thing with the Zin, <laughs> and then you did a yeah, dip, but yeah. we, 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 we could not find the chewing tobacco? <laughs> right. Well, you're finally in luck. Oh. Uh. Menace. Yay, yeah, we, it's your lucky day. And I don't want to. I have the original I blend. I got like meetings and stuff like that. <laughs> this is the original blend and then the golden blend uh, of America's best. It how says, does that, uh, how does chewing tobacco even work? You just chew it. Easy. Put it in the back of your mouth, chew it, spit it. Back of the mouth? 
Yeah, you I chew thought you it. Put it in your front of your mouth. No, no, that's a dip. That's I think oh. on the side. This you actually chew, this is like, like the shreds, like oh. you would big league chew. That's how you release the juice. Great right deal with me. No. Which, which would you like? Would you like the original <laughs> blend or the golden blend first? Ooh. This is the this is the conclusion uh, of the great tobacco I'll taste test. I'll just go OG, I guess. <laughs> OG, first? here we go. Uh, oh God, there it is. What what you, how much do you do? I think you just take like a like, like you would little, like a piece like of like enough that would be like remember big league chew. Enough that's chew up again. I don't know. Am I gonna get dizzy? Oh, uh, that's, that's yes. It's, it's chewing tobacco. Guaranteed you'll get dizzy. Well, it depends <laughs> on how long you keep it in. Yeah. Since, since 1887, John Pinkerton has delivered the world's freshest, most satisfying chew. Uh. His commitment to quality remains <laughs> oh, our promise. It tastes terrible. All right, but what you got like? But you got to chew it to like uh, really let it loose. Uh, terrible how, Menace? Um, uh, Spit. Like don't chemical. swallow. Don't oh. swallow. Don't swallow. It's like chemically. Um, <laughs> like it's like bark. Like I'm doing <laughs> bark. Well, it is a plant, yeah. It looks yeah. like super soft beef jerky. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you yeah. chewing it? Does it get better as you chew it? No. Oh. <laughs> it's all oh, in his beard. There goes, there goes some spit. Uh, no, you forget, uh, don't just let it drop out of your mouth, Menace. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? Oh, okay. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so are you supposed to? I don't. Here's what I don't understand about chewing have, tobacco. Yeah. Part of my ignorance. Are you supposed to chew it until all the flavors out, like cheap gum? I, I have so. never known. I didn't realize there was, they still made this stuff. <laughs> oh God! Don't maybe, on the floor. Maybe the, the golden blend's better. I don't but now know. That yeah. How long weird you, feels in it now? How long are you supposed to leave it in? All day, right? Just, I think you're supposed to chew it until the flavor's gone. Is my uh, is my guess? Like, I, I, like I, chew, chew, and chew, not spit, and spicy. <laughs> It's spicy? Yeah. <coughs> do you have a buzz? <laughs> here, no. do want, here, do you want to chase it with some big league no. chew? Yes. Bubble gum? Okay. <laughs> That's not a bad idea because that'll get that'll pick yeah, up yeah. The loose particles. <laughs> oh, God. So what do you give it? Like on a scale like above, like between the zin, the dip, and <laughs> and, now, and now the chewing uh, tobacco, what do you give it? Now I got the tingly like high feeling. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's what you want. Uh, that tastes Oh, I could feel like it would throw up. Huh. Um. Oh, is that the big league chew? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting weird. Like, my throat is burning now. Oh, no. Oh, did you swallow some of it? My, uh, and then my stomach hurts. <laughs> and now I feel a little, like, light. Well, that's that's what you want. You want that lightheaded feeling. Yeah. But that's a terrible feeling at the same time. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Stick with it. It'll yeah, get uh, so good. Power through. It gets yeah. better. <laughs> it, no, it's like my mouth's on fire. Like the back Is of the gum throat. helping? Is the Big League Chew helping? Yeah, I think I did swallow some. That was a problem. But oh. uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you have a gar garbage can? Right yeah, we do. Hold on. We'll get you the garbage can. Well, there you go. That's the conclusion of the Woody Show Taste Drive today, ladies and gentlemen. And the exciting conclusion of the tobacco taste test. Why would people do that? For the lightheaded feeling. Yeah, I mean, you know. Why? Okay. There's marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you good? Uh oh. Are you? Oh, here I also brought. Um, oh, what you got? The same place I found the Bigly Chew. Uh -huh. They had candy cigarettes. Oh, oh which, wow. I, which I haven't, have <laughs> which I haven't seen in such a long time. Wow. These were so cool when you were a kid. You uh, really felt like you were awesome and really wow. smoking. Oh, it was so cool. Burning yeah. so bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, more Woody shows next.